Beltline this afternoon. And that's your first alert traffic update. It was a pre-approval, approval, then a denial, then an approval, then a denial, and then they paid it, but now they want their money back from you guys, and that's why you want your money back from us. Right. That's exactly where we're at. Nothing has changed. And all roads lead to the insurance. Well, that is a scene from the new documentary, Bleed Out, which shows how medical errors could have life-changing consequences, and it pre premieres tonight on HBO. In the film, Steve Burroughs documents his 10-year struggle now to find out what happened to his mother. She went in for hip replacement surgery and came out with brain damage after a weeks-long coma. Steve is a comedy director originally from Milwaukee, now lives in Los Angeles, who has switched gears to get the word out about his film, which is all personal footage that he was able to capture. Steve, great to see you. Thanks. Welcome Thanks to Live at Four. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. So tell us, give us the Cliff Notes version of what happened to your mom. She broke her hip in 2009, but she was perfectly healthy before that, right? She was a, yeah, she was a world traveler before she fell. It all started with a bike fall. But before she fell, she was traveling all over the world to Turkey. Uh, I mean, she came out to California a million times, to Europe, um, Asia, a retired school teacher. She had it made. Everything she had bought her, uh, house was paid for, car paid for, retirement, and, and then she fell. And then she went in for this routine hips, uh, partial hip replacement, and came out in a coma with permanent brain damage. So after surgery, uh, that, and that's what the title refers to, the blood loss and the brain damage that followed after surgery. They, it says she was left alone in what's known as an E-ICU. I don't even know what that is. What is that? <laughs> I'll, try to, I'll try to tell you. Actually, uh, the E-ICU is electronic ICU. And um, basically, you know, there, there's a hospital and there are critical care patients mm -hmm. in, the, in the ICU. And in this particular ICU, uh, there's a camera. And the camera uh, is uh, theoretically monitored by a doctor remotely off-site, either in another building somewhere or another city or even another state. Wow. And um, in my mom's case, there was no, uh, after she lost all this blood in her surgery, they took her up to this ICU, and there was no ICU doctor uh, with her that night, just a nurse. And uh, apparently the, uh, this camera doctor, and I wanted to talk to that camera doctor. We couldn't. I asked about the camera, and I was told that that camera was never on. And I asked, so well, that doesn't make any... Them. So I said, well, what do you mean the camera's not on? Why? And they told me at the time, patient privacy issues. Oh, wow. And then, you know, a couple days later, uh, she was in a coma. Uh -huh. Wow. So what happened next? Well, uh, my uncle's a doctor, my aunt's a nurse, and they told me immediately to get the medical records, to become mom's power of attorney, and to get some counsel because we really are in over our heads now. And we didn't know whether she was going to survive. We didn't know. I was told that she was in a vegetative state. She may or may not wake up. Um, uh, thank God she did. Um, and I was told by our attorneys to start filming mom's pain and suffering, which was brutal to do. I, you know, when she woke up, I mean, it, it's like still one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, but I had to document it. And I didn't even think about making any type of film for years. I was just kind of dutifully doing my job. And comedy work, too. Right. Things. Yeah, this is not... Way out of your element. Way out of my... I, I know nothing, right? Mm -hmm. But then uh, when I started to find out about uh, that medical error is the third leading cause of death in America... I didn't know that. That's a startling statistic. And that one out of four patients in America are harmed by medical error. I mean, never intentionally, yeah. but it happens. And I thought, this is, I, I thought it was a personal story, but then I thought, this is universal. Mm -hmm. We're all in this. And I, I didn't really want to make this thing. I, I, I needed to make it. And what, what kind of what you wanted to do is to, to have not just people learn about these statistics, but the medical industry to learn from these mistakes, because it doesn't seem they are, right? Well, I, I, I can't only speak for myself that I would love, you know, obviously this, is, this movie is really for my mother, and for, uh, but I, I know that she really would love to help other people, and not just patients. I'm really glad you brought that up. I want hospitals. I want doctors. I want nurses. Uh, to see this film because there is a lot everybody can learn you know it's you know it's healthcare is tough and it's complicated and we all need help we're all in this together uh, but I, I think that they also need to look at from their perspective that we, we, we can all do better and it, for instance advocacy the one thing I learned when you go into a hospital um, you need an advocate when you're sick you're in no position to like ask questions and you know you need someone whether it's a spouse or a friend or a loved one to come in with an envelope written questions get second opinions um, you're gonna get better care for it your doctors and uh, nurses although they might be a little irked at the moment they're good you're good they're gonna be happy they're gonna respect you for asking these tough questions and you just have to do it 
So you felt they were cooperative? You didn't feel like you were powerless to get answers? You mean back then? Yeah. Oh, I was asking questions, and I was not getting answers. And I can tell you, even after all these years, which uh, you'll see in the film, I still only have questions. I, I don't have a lot of answers. And how is day. your mom today? My mom is, she's alive. Uh, she is, uh, she's deeply compromised with cognitive physical injuries, but she's at a great facility. They take incredibly good care of her. Uh, and uh, I saw her this morning. I'll go see her tonight. And I told her this thing's for her. That, that we hope that, you know, we can save some lives with, with this film. And you've got a great venue, HBO, uh, premiering this tonight. What can people expect when they tune in? Well, uh, this is... Uh, Pretty powerful and deep stuff. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a brutal film in a lot of ways, but it's, it's a love story. Mm -hmm. It's a war story. It's a medical thriller. It's a, a, a legal thriller. It's... Cautionary a, tale. It's a cautionary tale. It's, it's a horror story. Uh, but mostly it's a story about what happened to my mom and how can we avoid this in the future. Mm -hmm. So you sued for medical malpractice. We did. What is the state of your lawsuit? We had a trial back in 2016 and uh, we lost. I mean, this was a pretty clear case, but we, yeah, we, we lost. Yeah, sometimes even in the, what seems like a open and shut, like somebody was at fault, you're, at, you're stuck on the bill for, for outrageous bills, right? Well, my mom is actually, um, you know, she lost everything she had by two th 2012. Wow. And we're paying for her now. You, you were, you everybody. Know, everybody, yeah. Medicare, Medicaid, Title 19. Yeah, she's, she's being cared for by the, the good citizens of the United States of America. Uh, a real statement and a powerful one at that about the healthcare system yeah. in this country. Yeah, it, it, it all comes down, this is what I've learned, is it can be fixed. It's really actually quite simple. It's accountability. When something goes wrong, be accountable for it. Transparency, which if something goes wrong, uh, like the, the, the best hospital, like Mayo Clinic, they said when something goes wrong, they tell everybody. They tell all their employees and they, they share, this is what happened, let's learn from our mistakes. Mm -hmm. And they even tell the families. And then the last is an apology. Transparency, accountability, apology. Yeah, it's a, a lot of people understand their mistakes. Sounds like you didn't know that happened. It's how they do after that happens, you know? Right. Are they accountable? Do they improve? Those kind of things. Well, we know all doctors and nurses, we're all human, right? right? And doctors mm -hmm. and hospitals are heroes, yeah. right? But they're human and sometimes things happen mm -hmm. and it's how you handle those things that go wrong you know what do you do from there and that's I think we can do a lot better at that point uh, Wow powerful really, piece of something work something everybody really should watch yeah and, and premieres learn. tonight on HBO congratulations Steve but continued success and best of luck and to nothing your mom. but the best thank for you. your mom thank you well. very much great to see you, you so much. thank you, thank you.